Hello YouTube, I'm going to be coming at you really quick with a video. Uh, this is a counter. <laughs> it doesn't look like one, but it is, I promise. It's a, it's an analog counter used using uh, comparators. It's very useful because data can be stored in analog signals. Uh, they were introduced in the game not too long ago, and I think they're starting to be widely used. I'm using one for a project up there, and that's why I made this. So, really quickly, basically what it does is it will increase and decrease the strength of an analog signal. So, we press that button to increase. Press this button to decrease. Simple enough. Uh, it's really useful for storing data values, like I said. They can be checked really easily, and it's generally a, uh, generally a good tool to have. So. I just want to show you this really quick. Uh, the main important part about this circuit is just what you're seeing here. You don't need to worry about the bottom. These are monostables down here. Nothing much happened in there. You can input a signal here, and you can input a signal there, and it'll be fine. However, you do need to make sure that the signals, the monostable signals that you are sending, are going to be a two-tick signal. No more, no less. Should be two ticks. You probably could get away with three. If you're wondering, this is what the bottom looks like. If you just want to build it like how I have it. These are <laughs> comparators. Jeez, I can't think of it. Comparators. Uh, and these each have one item in them. These torches are used for constant values. Do not move, remove them. And this, these four in the center, these four comparators are switched. Other than that, that's really all. Um, like I said, really useful knowledge to have. Took me a while to come up with this. I'll demonstrate how it works if anybody wants me to, but that, that kind of goes in depth a little bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. Happy YouTubing. Happy Minecrafting. Bye.